Welcome to Say Yes to Good Health. I'm your host, Maggie McKay. Today we're joined by Dr. Yoon Hong Kim, the Chief Wellness Officer at Memorial Hospital. With over two decades of experience, Dr. Kim has been a pioneer in integrative medicine, developing sustainable and impactful programs across various settings, including healthcare systems and private practice. Today, we delve into a pressing question. Can Hashimoto's thyroiditis be reversed? Great to have you back, Dr. Kim. Well, I'm very happy to be back, Maggie. Can you explain what Hashimoto's thyroiditis is and how it affects people's health? So hypothyroidism is a uh, cause, number one cause of that is uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune uh, uh, condition that results in destruction of thyroid cells and eventually patients need uh, to take medications uh, to replace the thyroid hormones uh, due to the autoimmune destructive process. What are the common symptoms of Hashimoto's thyroiditis that patients should be aware of? So uh, most people come with uh, weight gain, fatigue, uh, hair loss, um, and uh, constipation may be another symptom. How is Hashimoto's diagnosed and what tests are typically involved in the diagnosis? So the, the normally uh, in conventional medicine, when you go to your normal doctor, they will order a TSH and, uh, is, and then they will manage your illness uh, by using TSH. One thing that's different about functional medicine approach is that we, of course, check the TSH, but we do much more. We, we check the free T3, free T4, we check for the antibodies uh, against uh, thyroid uh, cells or either thyroglobulin or what we call thyroid peroxidase antibodies and uh, reverse uh, T3. And all of them do different things. But big picture is that we're able to see the big picture, that if there is an antibody involvement, is it an active uh, phase or um, and then we can also measure the, the specific uh, forms of thyroid hormone T3 and T4. And that allows us to better treat the patient uh, more optimally. Dr. Kim, can it be reversed? Yes. Uh, in early stages, uh, definitely I have had patients whose condition completely reversed and they, they're off taking medication. Uh, in later stages, uh, oftentimes either symptoms get better or uh, we are able to reduce the dose of the medication. So the answer is definitely not, not by conventional doctors, but the functional medicine doctors are able to sometimes reverse the disease or mitigate the disease or improve the condition. Well, that's encouraging. Can you talk a little bit more about how you go about that? So the main stage of the treatment, because the cause of the illness is autoimmune, we target the, auto, the immune system um, and uh, we use a tool known as low-dose naltrexone or LDN. And the use of LDN for autoimmune conditions, um, while off-label, it's very popular. And that's the, the main course how we're able to mitigate most autoimmune diseases, including Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And can lifestyle changes influence the progression or the management of Hashimoto's thyroiditis? Absolutely. So the, the way that we pair our treatment is, uh, one is low-dose naltrexone. The other part would be lifestyle changes, such as anti-inflammatory diet. The specific diet we use um, have some commonality in being low, low carbohydrate uh, and allowing the body to go into ketosis or fat burning state. And in that state, uh, we, we found that some patients' condition responds very well, allowing for either reversal, mitigation, or improvement of symptoms. Is there anything else in closing that you'd like to add? Yes. Um, the Hashimoto's thyroiditis causes hypothyroidism, and uh, there is an opposite kind of condition that's called Graves disease, which causes hyperthyroidism. The interesting thing is low-dose naltrexone, because both conditions are autoimmune-based. Um, low-dose naltrexone can treat both conditions, even though one causes hyperthyroidism, and the other causes hypothyroidism. So 
it's uh, and, and both the diet would also work for that the ketosis diet. Well, thank you so much, as always, for sharing your expertise, Dr. Kim. We always appreciate you. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us with this enlightening discussion on Hashimoto's thyroiditis with Dr. Yoon Han Kim. If you enjoyed this episode and want to dive deeper into our health and wellness initiatives, please Google Memorial Hospitals Institute of Health and Healing. Remember, saying yes to good health is the first step toward a healthier future. Until next time, take care.